yes so from today i am going to teach you the variable all right the recording is going to be on it's running all right i hope all people are arrived yes okay so what is variable let's see everything inside that notebook need not to refer any website what we do here i will put in this cell all right now check this one so first of all i am explaining you what is variable what is variable the variable is the name which used to refer a memory location means if any data is going to be saved in the python program so it is storing in a memory location so variable also known as the identifier means we are going to identify the variable if there is a lot of variable in a program just like x y z so we are going to identify which one is x which one is y and which one is z okay that's why we say it's identifier all right so the intention behind the identifier on right time we can call the right variable all right now second rule there is some rule in python we don't need to specify the type of variable because python is the type in for language means the beauty of python it automatically detect the data inside a variable i will show you little shortly so we can say that in python we don't have the data type and the is smart enough to get the variable type so variable type nothing was a data type so what is data type the data type tells us what kind of data is present inside a variable okay variable names can be group both letter and digits but you may begin with the letter and underscore okay so what you cannot begin you cannot begin with the digit any digit is there any special character except the underscore underscore is allowed okay it is recommended to use a lower case letter for the variable name rahul and rahul put two different variables all right now let's see do some program exercise okay i can add the cell over here by clicking plus one okay so this is perfect notebook for you as well as notes as well as programming so creating variable hash are the command hash is known as the command as the command comment and comment are ignored by the python are ignored by the python all right so user can write anything thing inside the comment which is not process which will be not process we not processed okay means python will not read this all right so this is a comment if i am running this thing so it will give no error this is hash all right so i am creating a variable i just zoom this my screen i am not looking my chat window so Uh, someone asking me koya roza can we get the lecture notes definitely uh, this is the first lecture today anyone is new so this is the first lecture the first lecture in last lecture i just told you how to install the anaconda nothing else so don't worry if you need a notes from tomorrow so you can write the email id i just give you again okay you can ask the notes for non technical query okay and any technical query regarding the python regarding a data science you can write to me all right so let me continue and uh, after the variable i will ask the query all right till then you can be mute and see what happening okay i will ask you some question so these are a like totally interactive session okay so i am creating a variable let's suppose i am creating the salary let's suppose i put the 500 5000 in fact so the first thing we don't care about the data type 
just like in other programming languages C, C++, we have to select int cell A, float cell A, like that. But here we don't care about this. Okay. So once you put this and type the cell A, so this will give you this thing. Or we can using the print statement, print cell A. Both thing is same. So what is the difference between printing a data without print statement and printing a data with print statement? Okay, I will tell you shortly what is the difference between. Okay, so this is a kind of variable which is contain the integer value. Integer value. Similarly, if I am creating a variable which contain the string value, a string value. Let's suppose I am taking the name. In fact, my name. Okay, and the for keep in mind, we have to enclose the data single quotes in Python. I'm give you note, note, a string value, value, can we initialize? Initialize in quotes either either the single quotes or the double quotes. In Python, single quotes and double quotes are the same. I will show you. Okay. So these are my notes. I will put the notes between your lectures. Okay. So if I convert this thing into markdown, I mean I can convert this thing into heading. So this is put in between the cell all right now here so if i am printing my name over here so what you get name actually i don't run this cell name and if i am printing the print statement print and name see observe the difference now you can observe the difference what happening with the only variable and what happening with print statement the print statement remove its type okay without print statement you can observe that the single quotes is there single quotes between the name okay without print statement. but if we do the print statement so this thing going to be lost so print statement is not recommended in data science because we have to observe the type of data okay which kind of data is all right now how to check type of data type of data in python all right check this one we have a type function answer is that is a question how to check the type of data the answer is we have have type function which give me the data type of variable all right now check this one how if I am passing, hey Python, give me the type of my name variable. You know, this is string, but how we do display this thing? So type, then there is a name, a string. Okay, I am taking str means string, name one equal to double quotes. All right, so again, what I am doing here type name one again a string so it means the rule which i tell you the single quotes the single quotes single quotes and the double quotes are the same entity all right single quotes and the double quotes are the same entity means both type is given by the str people keep joining okay those who are joining very late i am requesting you to join at time okay my time 
is 8.15, but I am starting class on 8.20. So you please keep start joining at 8.20 until 8.20 can join. Okay, now. Okay, so this is where we start creating a variable. We check the type. Now, what about the numeric? If we do the numeric one, if we want to check the data type of numeric. So I am increasing cell over here. I put the cursor here and then increase this one. All right. Now we do the type of salary. See integer means type of cell is integer. But the good thing is that if we take number num equal to so can anyone tell me let me do this thing in new window yes perfect perfect this is i'm just putting over here and this thing i'm minimizing over here that's good so that side by side i can check your response and side by side i can teach you Yes. So now uh, we are on both window programming and as well as the Google Meet window. Okay. So now you can tell me the num1 or num have the type of integer or string. Yeah. Very good. All of you are smart guys. A string. Very good. str string. Same thing. So I just type type of type of num1. Okay. That is a perfect way num one so sorry this is not number string okay but what if i print this thing print num so now you check print function confuse you print function confuse you what kind of data it is so i'm always recommend you not to use the print statement because see this is string type and integer type both integer display and string display, the type of data same. Value may be different. What value you put the first time I put the 5,000 5, and second time I put the 6,000, but the, it is hidden the type. So the print function is rarely recommended in the data science, the first thing keep in mind. So whatever we do, we just type the variable and run the cell. So it will give you the data with its type, all right? So here it is hiding the type, okay? so. Numeric can be string and numeric can be integer. Keep in mind. Okay. So what we do here, we just see how to initialize the variable with having a numeric value, how to initialize a numeric value with the type of a string, how to initialize a value with having a type of a string like that. Now, the type function support you to assist you to check the type of any variable. Now, what I'm trying to do here, how to take input from user, okay? This is very important and very good thing is there. Okay, one more thing. How to print data, data with some predefined methods. Predefined methods. Okay, let's suppose a very good thing let's suppose i have salary 5000 so if i want to print that you have salary of this one anyone is joining once again okay if i want to put you have salary of this much so print that hello you have salary ry and then put the comma then keep the variable that variable you want to print so this will give you the message hello what you fix message there predefined means 
and a fixed message. And this variable will contain and will keep changing the data. Okay. Now, one more thing. How to take input from user? How to take input from user? Again, question is this. So again, I'm asking this thing to my students, my dear students, what function is used for taking the input in Python? My voice is breaking. No, my voice is not breaking. I have good speed. If you check my speed, so I can give you my speed. You can check my speed, fair enough. It's 100 Mbps speed, all right? That's good. All are replying, very good. Input function is there. So my voice is not breaking. I am running good voice, all right? Okay, so how to take input from user? Check this one. Let's suppose, first of all, two inputs are there. Answer, using input function, input function, I take the input from user, all right? Now, just demonstrating, okay? I just take print, or we can say uh, H, or we prefer the name, NM, for name. Input, enter your name, enter, enter your name. All right, check this one, what I'm trying to say. So when I run this cell, so a dialog box appear before you. A dialog box appear before you. It will ask the prompt. It will give you the prompt. Okay. Using this prompt, what you want to do, you can. Okay. I am putting name. So it will store the variable, will store the name. Okay. You can check this one. But if you want to take the input as well as the printer output, so what we do? We take nm1. nm1 is my next variable enter the name there is some input output processing with the variable all right so print okay what we are going to print print the first predefined message hello then out of double quotes i put the name what a user enter then again double quotes It's very good morning. All right. Hello, your name. It's very good morning. So I'm running this cell again. Akash. All right. Then, hello, Akash. It's very good morning. See what thing I do here. I do take the input in between over here and what you input taking from here I just put over here so this is your predefined message and this is your predefined message so sometimes we need that any two predefined messages between any two predefined messages I have to embed someone something so here you can embed your variable just like Akash all right now if you want to take two variable two inputs so what we do Again, someone joining. Okay. Now, if you want to take two input, check this one. Okay. First name, FN, enter your first name. First name, and then last name. Same cell. So, means in a single cell, you can put the multiple input statement. No problem is there. So, first name, last name. And then at last, what I do over here, hello, see, hello, FN, okay. Then I put last name, see what mistake I committing over here. I'm just mm -hmm. committing some mistake. So you have to observe what mistake I'm committing over here, all right. So first name, then second name, 
check this one and mistake i hope i don't get any mistakes over here okay but I, once i run this cell one again This goes in coma. Actually, this goes in infinite loop. Second is missing. So sometimes, if you waiting cursor is appearing like that, check this one. Where is my waiting cursor? Here, in corner. So if this kind of situation is there in your notebook, you go to kernel. Okay, then restart the kernel. Sometimes this system is goes to infinite loop. Okay, I am running these cells once again. student coma okay like right. enter right i think i am not committing any mistake perfect okay so first name and last name you can got over here now what thing we try to explain multiple inputs can be embedded with the predefined messages so if you take my first name last name date of birth etc etc so you can generate this kind of print statement where all the things can be have it all right now write a program the first program i will give you many programs okay uh, uh, i have book of rima thereza uh, if someone wants to learn the python from beginning because all of you uh, most of your people are sir uh, Bigna, so there is a book of Rima Thaija. Exist. Someone asks you, what is kernel? Dear, kernel is a software which interact the hardware and software. Alright, kernel is basically concept of operating system. Okay, so the thing which is interacting Python with the system hardware, that is a kernel. Okay, how it is touching the hardware, how it is booting, how it is loading the Google Chrome, that's a thing done by the kernel. Okay, so I am recommending. Recommending the book. If someone want to purchase, otherwise I will give you a scan copy book of Rima Thereza. Okay, you can learn. This is basically for only for Python. Okay, very good good books there. Very good exercise over there. Right like now. So write a program to calculate. Area of a square, rectangle. All right, check this one. So I am taking the area of rectangle. So I take length, width equal to ten. Okay, then area equal to length into width. Alright, now print the area of rectangle is that area. Alright, check this one. That is sixty. Ten multiplied by sixty. But this is the value which I statically initialize means the Before the running of program, if I want to do like this way, so what I do for this? All right, this is quite tricky thing. See, every input by default inside this is a string type. Any input you take is a string type. For example, if I want to take, or what I could, how to take integer input? How to take integer input? From user, okay. So what I do for this, I take same program. If I directly put the input function, just like this one, directly put the input function. So there may be some problem. What problem? I'm just showing you. Enter length. Enter width. 
okay now i am running this cell it will ask me enter the 4 5 then it will give you the error what error can't multiply sequence by non int of the str you can check this one and if, if i am putting this error to you so what recommendation i have to put very good jyotish give me the answer correct answer so you can ask me in hindi and english both i am comfortable okay so what happened okay so what happening here this just told me that we can't multiply these things because all the inputs over here all the inputs over here of the type of a string okay so what we do i can multiply string with string no problem here okay we can multiply okay but first of all we have to change the data type how we change data type so i would just put the error over here i am not removing this one i just give you a solution next i just take the integer function inside int using this thing you can parse the data exactly what is parse parsing means from a string data type you just change the type of data to integer by using the int function so what it getting from the user it will convert into integer and allocating the length and width so for integer input this one and then keep you google that what we do for float input all right all right now what we do again running this cell 5 then 4 the area of rectangle is 20 this is the simplest program simplest first program where I taught you how to take the integer input, how to take the string input in Python. Now, come on the next thing is identifier. Okay, what is identifier? First, the thing I am floating this question to you. You can put answer in chat box. What is identifier? Yes, Ashish Sholanki, you can tell me what is identifier. Ashish Sholanki, you can unmute yourself and tell me the answer. No way. Anyone, uh, only, only not your crowd, I am just saying, saying only one person can unmute and answer me this thing. What is identifiers? good thing but not in always in focus because we always focus on variable not in identifier to identify a specific memory a basic uh, to identify a specific memory location that's good but uh, basically uh, see that is a work of pointer to identify the memory not identify basically it is I, a name it is a name given to a variable yeah, or class definitely i mean nearby the perfect answer it is basically some rules and regulation how we put the name of variable okay uh, we cannot put the variable as per our need okay there is some rules okay so identifier are the named variable means how to re renaming how to naming my variable that is the identifier okay there is some rules what rules it says okay identifier and literals these are two keywords they play important role the first one is identifier let's see everything is written you have to just read it out okay so read one by one identify naming means what name you are giving to the variable so what how we identify them means how to identify the variables so there are some rules on the basis of which we do the name of variable so first one the variables are the example of identifier identify used to identify the literals used in the program what are the literals? Literals are values. Means if we put the x equal to 5. So x is my identifier, what name I am giving, and 5 the value I give to this thing, assign my operator. That is known as the literals. Okay. So an identifier is used to identify the literals used in program. The rules to name the identifier are given below. So what are the rules? The first one. The correct, first character of variable must be alphabet or underscore. Means you cannot put the numeric one. You cannot put numeric very first. Okay. You can put the alphabet or underscore. The second rule, 
all the character except the first character means it multiple character are there so except the first character what it says all the character except the first character may be alphabet of lower a to z upper a to z underscore or digits okay so except the first character all the character except the first character may be alphabet lower case upper case and underscore so the first thing should be character all right except this you have capital abcd small abcd then digits okay and in a special character identify name must not contain any white spaces means you cannot put the space just like first name so you cannot put the first and then space name so these space known as a white spaces all right so you cannot put the space between them or any special character okay so in a special character only underscore is allowed nothing is allowed not exclamation not this one this one variable name identify name must be not similar to any keyword defined in language means what name you are giving to your variable must not be any keyword all right now identify names are case sensitive means my name is not same the my name okay so means each character has a different ascii value see uh, how the computer identify the ascii okay means character so ascii value is there so the capital m ascii value or small m ascii value are different okay if you want to check the uh, any value so we have function i will explain function thing so no confuse so can see all function to check the ascii value similarly all function to check the capital c value this will make the difference all right from the program knowledge of c programming if you are in btech first semester or bca first semester or mca first semester c is taught so there is ascii value means how we compare the string how computer recognize the character means what keyboard have so every keys have a particular value that value known as ascii value so that's why we are able to difference the thing so the valid identifier names means valid example the first one a 1 2 3 and n n 9 etc no invalid invalid is important so why it is invalid because we cannot put the numeric first okay that is in invalid n percentage 4 why it is invalid because percentage is not allowed n space 9 that is again not allowed because space is so follow that convention and the my opinion that if you are taking something if you are taking any variable name it's my opinion taking any variable name okay then try to correlate correlate with its functionality with its function function is what the variable trying to do what it concern for example and one more thing use camel case camel case what is camel case this is oh, i hope new things for you otherwise you are intelligent person first name see the thing is first and name we cannot put like this so the second word i make the first character as a big all right now i just put so you know when you use you know develop the program so you will know that i take the first name in particular value so try to correlate these thing all right now next thing declaring the variable and assigning the values okay so what is it variable declaration and assigning value python does not bound us to declare variable 
before using in the application is the first language which cannot force you you first declare then assign you can directly assign the value it allow us to create variable at required time means when you required the variable is to create then create and assign the value that's it we don't need to declare explicitly in python when we assign any value to the variable that variable is declared automatically all right now the equal operator is known as the assignment operator okay used to assign the value to the variable okay so what exactly it try to say if we have x equal to 5 so my equal to this operator known as the assignment operator is given by over here assignment operator and by putting x equal to 5 I am assigning 5 to x means allocation is from left hand side to right hand side so I right hand side to left hand side and h means left hand side to in programming this rules follow always assignment from right hand side to left hand side means values assigning to variable that's why we say this is my assignment operator all right now we can do the multiple assignment how if we have a same variable and the same value okay if we have multiple variable and same value for example check this thing i mean example is written before you equal to 50. so x y and z and z populate the same value okay so this facility you can avail when you have multiple variable and you also assign the same value you put keep in same line and you can get same value now assigning the multiple value to multiple variables variables are different values are different so if you put uh, a comma b comma c comma d all right then we have 7 comma 8 comma 9 comma 3 so the order of assignment is the same means leftmost value goes to the leftmost is a b c d 7 8 9 3 so the last leftmost goes to the leftmost then in that order maintain to this one it will give error if both side does not equal means if you have equal number of variables and values so no problem so if i want to print c so what we have in c in C we have 9 because C is on third position and 9 is on the third position. All right, so what we do here in this chapter from starting Python variables, what are the variables? Then we see how to initialize the integer variable, this one, then print the variable, numeric one, and then see the type because the Python don't. Uh, have the data type so using a type function we can just check this one then we again take the numeric value in a string format okay then we again check the num str again print the num okay again we check the string variable and we again declare that single quotes and double quotes are the different we check this with print function and without print function now how to check the data type in python using a type function we can check type and put any variable over there. Okay. Now how to print data some predefined message. If you have some predefined message with the variable. So you can put your message either single quotes or double quotes. Because single quotes and double quotes are the same in Python. When you put the variable. And we use the input function. Input function only give you the string type input. Okay. Whether it is a numeric value whether a string value. You enter by the user. Okay. So if you want to parse this value convert means parsing a value parsing from string to any data type of integer so we can use the int function and we can put this input function inside the int function all right now identify there are some rules how to we do you know, the renaming my variable but my recommendation always use the camel case just like this one first word is small and the second word the first letter is capital now declaring variable we use assignment operator x equal to 5 and for multiple assignment we can proceed equal to equal to different variable and single value okay now assigning the multiple values to multiple variable 
ABC like that. You can follow this kind of procedure. So this is the first chapter of your variable. Okay. Now, if you have any query, you can ping me in my chat box. I will answer one by one. If necessary, I will give you access to unmute yourself. All right. How many of you know, don't know the Python? Write your name. How many of you don't know the Python for a single word? This is your first Python lecture. Write your name in chat box. Okay, because this is the first lecture. Yesterday I just do the, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't be hesitate because I am here to teach you Python very first. Okay, unless you don't learn the Python, you can't move the data science. Only seven people out of 39. Okay, means I have the huge crowd which had known the Python. All right, all right. Okay, so any query in regarding this one? No, no, Malikarjan, you do the wrong, wrong thing. You use doing a wrong thing. Malikarjan asking me, Malikarjan, check this thing. How I analyze this thing? Check this one. You cannot put the parenthesis because if you put the parenthesis, it will convert to tuples. Okay. So, Vivek Banerjee asking me, is there any method to know the memory location? It is an error. Pratyan should give you what what error you are getting. Type in chat box. Okay. Or you can unmute yourself, Pratyanshu, what error you are getting? Pratyanshu, you can unmute and tell me what error you are getting. Yeah, that's, that's right, that's right. I'm saying it created tuple. It's because parenthesis created tuples. Yeah, that's it. Because once you put the parenthesis, so it considers very variable as a tuples. Like and uh, uh, that's good. That's good. And uh, one, tell me one thing. Uh, the notes which I provided on the last class means yesterday. You get it or not? Type yes or not. The notes I provided. Oh, not at all. Okay, okay, okay. I hope that you get. Okay, okay, okay. Nobody get thing. Hmm. Okay, I will make sure that you get both the notes today. Okay, uh, so why you are not, why you not ping me on my mail ID? If you are not getting the notes, something else. So why you not ping me on this one? Because I came to know, I'm again sharing this one. You guys are intelligent enough. If you don't get anything, okay, you can write for notes on my email ID or non-technical email ID, the notes will be provided, all right? Yeah, PPT presentation on Monday, the PPT presentation. On yesterday, I do the environment setup. What is Google Collab? What is Jupyter Notebook? And today I start the variable. Actually, WhatsApp group is not allowed. Okay. Okay, WhatsApp group is not allowed. Okay, so you can write a email that is better. Do practice. Okay, so first of all, I am making sure I am not um, uh, teaching more because the previous thing is pending and then uh, I am moving forward. So once you fix me that you cover this thing, you get all the thing by today, then we move forward. Okay, so please. Yeah, that's good. I will open the Google Drive so that you can download the notes over here. Okay, so I'm just uh, taking the five minute break so that I can fix your problem. Please don't go away. Keep here. I just take the five to ten minutes note. So, if there is a provision to provide you um, Google Drive link, so I will give you. All right. Okay. Please wait five to ten minutes. All right. Take a drink. I mean, tea break, etc. I'm just waiting for five minutes. Thank you.
Hello, welcome back. Okay, so lots of discussion is going on for creating a WhatsApp group, but I am not recommending you, you people, to create any group and not join any group. The notes will be provided by the IMBM officials, so you will test on that. Okay, and uh, the format, the, you get the notes over here. Yeah, just the format, you get the notes over here. I'm getting you, I mean, you get the PDF file what we do today okay and at last we have contact us all right on every notes you have this kind of thing all right when you click over here you will redact on that email okay and i will give you the pdf of this one just create pdf the notes is there and what I teach you everything over here, all right, in the PDF format. So this is the first PDF I will provide you for live session, namely Python variable, all right. So I am advising you not to create any group and not to join any group, okay. And the message I got from the management, you will get the notes by 11 a.m. tomorrow. If you don't get any notes on tomorrow, the recording of three, three sessions, the notes, the PPTs, then you can write a mail, in fact, okay? So we are here for learning, not chit chat, all right? Now, the second chapter I'm going to start of Python. And we I'm also giving you the uh, homework type thing. We've got all the thing date by date, okay? So, make a folder in your uh, desktop also download all the resources either keep in desktop or put your google drive it's up to you all right now the next thing today is literals so what is literals okay so let me start the session again the recording is on yes voice is on perfect okay so what is literals? Literals can be defined as a data given to the variable or constant. Okay. Now thing is that we have any variable and we put any data, just like five. So five known as the literals. Okay. Literals can we have the string literals? I mean, we can divide literals in the format of string literal, number one. A string literal have this kind of way this kind of thing. I mean, I told you that numeric can also be put in string literals. You can put the double quotes or single quotes to put the string literals. Okay. When we have a single line string literals means the variable and the data. But sometimes we have the multiple line thing. So what this have? Check this one. For multiple line, I have the backslash. See, I am giving this thing to you so that you can try to print this one, okay? And then get me back if you have any query for this, okay? There was something you have to do, okay? If you do something, you will learn, okay? Everything is mentioned over here. For multiple line string, a piece of text that is separating along the multiple line, known as the multiple string. So first way to create a multiple string, you can put the backslash, like hello and user. When you print the text, you got the hello user, okay? The second way is a triple quotes. If you use a triple quotes, one, two, three, okay? So once you take the triple quotes, this one, a starting point here, a starting point over here, and ending point over here, okay? And you keep changing the line, the first line, second line, third line. So you get output accordingly, okay? Because as you change line, the slash and character automatically and counted, okay? So it change the line while you use the print statement. If you don't print the statement, so slash n will be appended between the things. Okay, just I'm giving you this thing because this will be confused. It's like where equal to, oh, we have a letter. Letter of teacher to student. Okay, I'm just putting here, hello. Hello students, okay, today, we don't have class. 
help class join me on tomorrow all right check this one if i am using sorry if i am using this kind of thing okay and print the letter see the difference so everywhere the line is going to be changed the slash and will be there but if you put the letter inside the print statement so print statement identify what is mean of the slash and okay so wherever the slash and and what format you put over here same format you got the data okay so there are two kind of string literals numeric and string okay so i put this thing for today this thing for today you guys keep it on yourself and do practice what we do in last two days okay because mostly you are the fresher i mean mostly you are the uh, new person to python and you are the perfect sovik banerji if you provide us ipy instead of pdf so it would be it is not better sovik because if i provide you python so you will type and if i provide you ipy and file so you will just run so if you typing you will learn okay initially i will provide you pdf file then later on then we have a great number of line of code then i will provide you ipy and we file okay when we start my linear regression logistic regression and goitha then we i provide you otherwise uh, most of the th person are the beginners so if the beginners consume the ready made thing that they don't learn so beginner have to cook the thing then they have to consume okay so this is my intention okay so i am providing these two pdf today recording okay so you will gone through this thing i will give you the homework same thing you got on tomorrow again i am announcing if you don't get this thing okay regarding time i have we have official time 9:15 to 10:15 but this topic close very much and i feel that next topic consume the overtime so we will finish earlier and sometimes what happened topic is not finished so we will increase after 10:15 so depend upon topic what time we are taking but our time will be this thing okay so i am again thank you so much good night and keep practicing of python so that you can perfect any question you can one by one unmute and ask me so where we use literals dear literals are the value literals are the value when you are assigning any values to any variable known as the literals okay we split the thing see if we have name name equal to any name okay so we split the thing this is known as the identifier this is known as literals and this is your assignment operator got it yes okay so those who have question can stay otherwise other person can leave how to check memory address i told you i will teach you this thing in function part because there we have functions for this all right i'm not going to mix the part which is concerned with the function the part which is concerned with the string i will put this thing in the same chapter okay so i hope you don't have any query i am finishing the session thank you so much good night